loop line here. In this video, I want to talk about the new metrics plugin that Scrapebox has. So if you don't have it, you can go to premium plugins, show available plugins, and then metrics plugin and purchase it. Once you purchase it, you come back to the same menu and you can install it um, after it's activated. It does take up to 12 hours to get activated. And if you purchase it from a different email than your main Scrapebox email, you want to email support and um, tell them what your Scrapebox email is and what email you purchased it with through PayPal so they can link them together. Um, but basically once that's done and installed, you go back to the same menu, premium plugins and metrics plugin, and then you launch it. And it's gonna pop up just like any other plugin or add-on. Uh, it will pull proxies from the main Scrapebox here and it can also pull the URLs here, which I just scraped up a few based off the word car. And so let's just look at a few things. Under file, we have some import from URL, or from file rather, and Scrapebox Harvester, and then export to Excel and exit. Same thing here, import and export options are exactly the same down here. Under settings, we have the option to set up Moz accounts along with proxies. And then here to register a Moz account. If you don't have one, you can register one here. Under Majestic Accounts, same thing, set up a Majestic account. It will work with a free Majestic account, but you're going to get, you know, Majestic has a very short limit of the number of queries you can do in a day with a free account. So I have a paid account in here, and if you have a paid account, you can put that in. Also, under Settings is Other Settings, which is just retries at the moment that you can set up, and then download the latest definition file. And what the definition file is, is the list of services here that you can... Um, you know, check metrics for. So as they add more, you can download the latest definition file and get them if something were to break, like say Facebook changes their URL and then Scrapebox fixes it, you can download the latest definition file and that'll fix it, that sort of thing. Under metrics and settings, this is where we can actually select the settings we want and we can set up different groups. So I can, can do Google services or not, or I can do individual ones. Um, I can do everything or nothing, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to do everything. We also have delays, which is important to note because um, basically, especially with Google, obviously they can block your IP. There's some built-in delays here that come with it. Majestic, even though they charge based on quantity, they get grouchy sometimes if you go too fast. So I actually use a delay of 11 with Majestic. You can experiment there with your Majestic account. I just have a silver account. I think it is. It's the lowest one. I pay like three months at a time. Um, and use Majestic and that sort of thing. So, and then obviously Moz requires a 10 second delay between requests. So that's built in automatically, and we're going to go ahead and apply that. Um, and then I also can choose to run proxies on these individual services as needed. So um, I'm not going to use proxies though, but I'll show you them. We can load proxies from file, from Scrapebox, or I can choose to use proxies. And as I choose that, see it updates them down here, yes, and then no. And then I can also filter, which is just removing all the records with errors. So let's import from the harvester and let this run. Um, some things will go really fast and some will take a couple of minutes here. We can look and see that we have eight URLs loaded, 50 proxies available, but that we're not using them. And then our status bar over here, along with the actual threads. And then I'll just pause this while it runs here because because of my delays with Majestic and Google, it can take a minute. And so it's not quite done, but we can go ahead and have a look. We can see Alexa and Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Dmoz, uh, the number of Wayback instances that are indexed in Wayback, uh, if the domain's available, Google Plus One, when it was last cached, which was all today. Uh, probably, obviously, these are popular domains that are crawled all day long. The Google Index is the quantity of um, sites that are indexed or URLs that are indexed for the given domain here. And then uh, malware, phishing filter, page speed, Bing links being indexed, Majestic, Majestic um, backlinks here is the referring backlinks, and then this is referring domains, Majestic domains, and then citation flow and trust flow. And then we also have the Moz metrics like domain authority, links, Moz rank, etc. The server country, server IP, and then who is information, and such as the email and the name, and all the way down onto the phone number. So this could have more over time, and uh, you know some could come and go depending on different things out there. Uh, but this was only released a couple of days ago. It's February 14th. I think it was released on the 12th of February 2017. And then once it's all done here, we can see everything. We can actually then export it as an Excel file. And we'll just dump it here in um, this and just have a quick look in a second so we can see what it is. Also, I want to show you the actual uh, definition files, what they look like. So let me pull this actually up here. And 
then you can see the actual file. And here's what it looks like, uh, pretty much just like the harvester. You can um, scroll across here and see the actual columns and everything, and they have the headers and so on and so forth. So pretty basic, just like the actual program. And in the actual, so if we go into the plugins folder, metrics plugin, definitions file, we can see the actual definitions for these different things. So some of them are going to be built in, like Majestic, for instance, is hard coded, but other things aren't as hard coded. Like let's look at Facebook, for instance. So if we pull up the Facebook URL, we can see pretty basic. This is like INI style format, and S Scrapebox uses this and other things like the poster, if you're familiar with that. So settings, it has a name and that sort of thing, um, and then whether or not it uses a delay and the actual URL to get this information from. And then we can see this domain token here, which is where this domain is inserted here. And then um, some header data and favicon uh, details and the favicon, uh, actual favicon there, which is just a little picture. If you didn't know, I'm sure you did. But steps uh, we can find first and share content, find in. If this doesn't make sense to you, you don't have to worry about this. Scrapebox is going to take care of it um, for what the metrics plugin comes with. But if this makes sense to you and you have another metric that you want to add, you can add your own. If you add your own um, definition files in here and just restart the metrics plugin, they'll show up in the settings automatically and then up here and you can use them and do what you like. So Google cached for instance, again we can see a Google URL. This is you might this might look familiar if you've done some custom harvester stuff. Again this domain tokens in there. We can see other ones obviously as well. Um, with like page speed, same thing. So uh, actually it doesn't have a URL in there because it's set up with Google, but you get the point. So my point is, is that some of these things you could add yourself if you wanted to add more or if something were to break and you edited it or if you wanted to edit it to get something different. Like you wanted to get, I don't know, something else from, from Bing and call it your own kind of metric where it gets a count of, you know, a, a particular operator or that sort of thing. You can add your own. So it's totally customizable, which is nice, rather than being just totally hard coded where you can't do anything. And so that's the metrics plugin. Uh, you can get a ton of different details and metrics for all sorts of different um, URLs and domains and that sort of thing. And really see and understand what it is that you're working with when you're working with URLs, whether you're doing research on, on something you're going to buy for a link or your own sites or competitor sites or sites for clients or whatever the case may be. The metrics plugin is obviously invaluable to give you all sorts of details about a given URL and domain. And that's the metrics plugin. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.